The first census dates back to Babylonian times, and early kings used the census to determine how many members their armies had. They would actually file their soldiers through a mountain pass, one by one, each soldier dropping a pebble in a pile, and they'd count the number of pebbles in the pile later. Um, the random sampling, the idea of random sampling is actually mentioned in the Bible if you count the idea of drawing lots. But it was not until the 1930s in the United States that random sampling joined up with the census to create random sample surveys of the population, what we now know as opinion surveys. Statistics.com offers uh, several courses in the design and analysis of survey data. In statistics.com survey analysis course, we'll look first at uh, two concepts, reliability and validity. Reliability refers to whether the survey results will hold up over time. Are they reliable? And there's different ways to measure that. One obvious one is to simply to give the same survey multiple times and see whether the results are consistent or are the results consistent across individuals who take the survey. Validity is a little bit different. It refers to whether the survey measures what in fact it says it's going to measure. Uh, the scholastic aptitude test, which we can think of as a survey, uh, purports to measure how well students will do in college or to predict how well they'll do in college. So you compare how well the survey predicts that as a measure of its validity. Then we move on to statistical analysis and it covers such topics as how to deal with outliers and missing data, producing summary statistics, and what many people think of as the classic statistics, a t-test or an ANOVA test to determine whether or not the results of a survey are different from what a chance model might predict. Uh, finally, the, the course moves on to how best to present results of a survey. The instructor is uh, Anthony Babinek, who's president of AB Analytics. He's been with the Institute for Statistics Education since 2004, and uh, previously he had served as director of advanced products marketing at SPSS. For more details and to register, go to statistics.com slash survey hyphen analysis.